when you look at a labor shortage, if you have a growing economy, people who were once perhaps considered disenfranchised will very quickly get on on the track towards upward mobility and thus the acquisition of, of wealth. But you can't do that if you are leaving your borders open. Now, they'll argue you act like a white nationalist, that and the other thing. Well, this is what I would say. If affirmative action was created to offset um, disparities in opportunity between blacks and whites, how is creating another category of affirmative action for immigrants who weren't here for marches, the civil rights movement, segregation, Jim Crow, and all these other things. How is saying, well, you got, you, you, you've you been here your whole life, your parents, your grandparents, so forth and so forth. This guy just got here yesterday, and we're going to give him the equivalent quota system that you have. Well, and it's, I have, a, I have a, a chapter in the book, Affirmative Action Against Blacks, because the way it was set up is that, well, not the way it was set up, but the way it was changed was that businesses and governments and schools all across the country uh they fill their they use immigrants to fulfill their affirmative action quotas that's uh, what i mean 